Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally sitting down to talk about my hair, everything about it, how I wash it, how I blow dry it, style of haircut I'm getting, how I maintain it, how my hair is gotten thick, literally all about it. Number one question is exactly what do I ask for when I go to the salon? Because it seems like you guys want to get the same. My haircut is actually in layers. I don't know exactly how many layers I have, but all I know is whenever I go I ask to refresh my layers, Layers, which means that your hair is basically cut in a v-shape if you look at it from the back and that's giving you the illusion of more volume I highly suggest getting layers if you guys don't have too short hair because I feel like it can easily look very thin and weird if you have uh, very short hair and you cut layers but say if your hair is like past your tits get layers bang is also something that i swear by and i get it done in a curtain style it's called a curtain bang so they cut it like this to frame your face and i usually get it um around this area cut like i don't usually go above it because i feel like it doesn't really suit my round face for my hair color i get a technique called the balayage i've spoken about this earlier and it's basically a technique of highlighting your hair First of all, it's very, very low maintenance. You do not have to go to the salon every single month to maintain this look. And second of all, it's less damaging because they don't bleach all your hair. They only do sections of it. And even the sections that they do decide to highlight, they don't do all of it. They kind of just pick out some pieces. Um, and I always, always, always leave my natural root color because I'm not about to go to the salon every month. Again, I love to be able to just have my hair grow out and it just looking natural. Lastly, I always ask for two highlighted pieces in my bangs because I just feel like it's so nice for the face. It kind of just lightens up your whole look. All right, I'm moving on to my washing routine, which always happens once a week. I feel like because I wash my hair only once a week, it's really grown over time because I don't wash out all the natural oils that my scalp produces, which is amazing. So if you guys want hair growth, I would suggest don't wash it too often, okay? Usually how I wash it for me is, is me putting on coconut oil. This will usually happen either the night before washing it, or if I forget or if I don't do it, then it will usually be on the same day approximately two to three hours before washing it section off my hair and just slap on the coconut oil if your hair is dry like mine because after all this bleach and after all this heat baby it will be dry I just feel like this coconut oil is done wonders for me obviously there are so many great oils out there i just personally have been happening to really love the coconut oil for my hair i'll clip up my hair after this and usually put it in a plastic bag or just leave it as it is until it's time to wash it. I usually shampoo twice and I will usually use a little scalp massager. You could do this with your fingers. I just happen to really love this plastic thing that I bought in Dubai and I just like massage my scalp. This is also really great for stimulating hair growth. Then when I'm done shampooing, I will hop onto my Olaplex number three. I like this product because I feel like my hair looks less damaged whenever i use it preferably for 45 minutes guys i'm telling you this thing is so expensive and this little product you're gonna have to get the most out of it so try to have it in your hair for 45 minutes minimum of 10 minutes i forgot to mention about my silver shampoo i love 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 this one from l'oreal i feel like this is very affordable and very good it really is effective i really only do silver shampoo once a month because oh my god is it drying depending on the dryness of my hair i will decide to whether i want to put a conditioner or a hair mask just kind of run my fingers through my hair i don't really use a brush in the beginning because you know it can be super damaging and then whenever my hair is like all nicely tangled out i will then go in with my denman brush if i'm not rushed to go anywhere i actually prefer to have my hair air dry but say if i need to style it immediately and go somewhere i will obviously just use a blow dry to kind of quickly just blow out my hair if you're like me and have naturally frizzy or curly hair then you can actually use this as an advantage in this routine to get more volume the protector on i use this one from tresemme i swear by it it is amazing the technique is using a combination of the revlon hair brush as well as a strainer now i know this is a lot of heat i will tell you that this will give you the best result as in having curly or frizzy hair only using a blow dry doesn't last on me. I did it in the beginning of, you know, trying to style my hair and I just found that after a couple of hours, my hair was this big and I was like, 
I'm clearly doing something wrong. I will run the Revlon brush through my hair until it is 100% dry and then only once with my strainer I will run it together and then at the bottoms I will curl and then I'm done with the strainer. Now leaving the brush on for a little bit until it cools down and then I will let it go and pin it up. So the next section I am going to be doing again heat protector, run the Revlon brush through it until it's 100% dry then only once with the strainer go through it and then curl it at the bottom let it go and then pin it up Remember how I said it's actually an advantage to have curly or frizzy hair for this technique? I'm gonna let you know what I mean by that. I do not put heat on approximately five centimeters of my roots because this is gonna help us with the volume. Obviously, if you have really curly hair, do put heat on it, but because my hair is just wavy and frizzy, it doesn't really make a huge difference in the appearance of the final look. All it does is it really just helps me with voluptuous roots and fluffy hair. the sections I will usually move on to say do all my makeup or whatever I need to do just leave it on for a couple of minutes for it to kind of set in the position and then whenever you let it go you're gonna be like oh my god so if you guys do not have very thick or long hair as desired I would actually recommend using Bellamy extensions I have used these for Three or four years actually, um, I don't consistently use them because I feel like my hair is already the desired length and fullness but like whenever you want to spice things up or if you just honestly want it for daily use you could also use it i have three different colors this one is a darker one sometimes i can blend in i actually have um two extensions in right now just for a little bit of thickness but i love bellamy extensions guys you can put heat on them you can bleach them you can dye them you can literally do anything because it is 100 percent uh, human hair actually have a coupon code for Bellamy's website whatever you guys want you can purchase with this discount code I will have it down below if you want to shop anything the only two clips as you guys can see but if you look at these they're thick all the way down last point I want to talk about regarding my hair would be maintenance how do we maintain this blow out through the week we go to the gym we sleep on it Diana how can I you know live my life without putting more heat on it when it comes to sleeping on my hair I always put it in a little knot on top of my head I feel like it doesn't really destroy my hair so I just go to bed like this here's someone who sweats a lot at the gym I would obviously say you would have to maybe um, wash your hair twice a week instead of only once um, I don't sweat that much and also I don't really go to the gym anymore that much So that's probably why it's worked for me personally because I remember back in the days when I used to go like every single day I did actually struggle with it. So this is a struggle that you will not really get away with. It's normal. You're sweating You need to wash yourself um, I would maybe say take longer breaks between each workout to kind of mimic that sweaty feeling I don't know and like if you sweat so so much maybe just try wash your hair twice a week only product I really love putting on my hair throughout the week um, is this bonding oil from Olaplex I love this product it also has heat protector in it a whole bunch of good stuff whenever I slap it on it kind of protects my hair and it does make it look more shiny I hope this video covered all the concerns and questions that you guys had regarding my blowout routine and washing routine and color and cut and everything um, thank you so much for watching this video hopefully it was helpful and don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel Give me a follow on Instagram and I will see you loves in my next video. Bye.